So yeah, she, she touched a lot of our hearts um, and, and our, our friends and family uh, in these different uh, organizations like the Creative Eye. Um, when we first started the nonprofit here, she was the first one through the door. And she came not by herself but with a, with a group of friends. So she was something for us getting started in this, in this area, kind of like rolling the dice as to whether or not this organization was going to be welcomed or not. She was, she clarified it immediately that it was a, um, it was a organization that was much kind of needed in this, in this community and um, she was, she came to every single one of our events and not only did she come to our events but she, she took part in them. Like we have artist talks for all of our gallery openings and she was the first one to ask the questions, always driving the conversation forward. And um, when, when she got ill, we, she was definitely missed. Like we, we saw that there was sort of a vacuum in, in the space when we had these, when we had these uh, openings. But, but her legacy lives on through the Creative Eye and, every, and all these uh, organizations that she started uh, at the Galaxy. And um, over the course of the, uh, the year, a year and a half that we knew her, um, she was not only into just kind of coming here and showing her support through, uh, to, through just kind of promoting us through her, through her networks, but she also donated so much of the facilities that we, that we have here that we give, uh, let our artists use. Like for instance, this, this bookshelf here, uh, I would say more than half of it now is, is Paul's uh, artist books, which is completely invaluable when we're doing workshops and we're we're teaching people about etching and, and lithography, and we could pull out a Rembrandt book and show them how the masters did it. And um, although I never got to meet um, Paul personally, uh, I feel like I had like a connection with him just through all the stuff that he donated, like the books. Um, there's a proofing press over there that I'm sure he made a lot of his cards for during during the years that they had in the galaxy. It's still being used today. We actually printed a bunch of editions off of it, over 500 woodcuts uh, just a few months ago. And, and then the paintings, of course, um, were just like, I loved going whenever uh, Florence invited us over to her house. Um, the walls were just kind of salon style, covered with, with this art, and we just knew um, that we would be close friends and fast friends. Um, so, and I just want to say that we're here to kind of celebrate their legacy and, and the lives that they had. And um, you know, for the family, all the all the pieces, anything that you guys want to take home today, um, you're more than welcome to. And um, and yeah, at, at that, if anybody else has anything that they want to say about Florence and, and Paul, um, that you're more than welcome to. I think um, the, the mayor has a, a word to say or two. So I just want to thank you. Take the work and we pay for it. Yeah. Well, the, the, and if any of the yeah, prices yeah. too, we have a, we have a price list too. All the donations go to to the to the family, to Barbara, um, the daughter of, of Paul, and, um, and then maybe a little bit to donated to the to keep the facilities here uh, going because I know that's uh, something Florence really uh, really supported us. So this is the, this is the least we could do for them, you know. And um, when like, anything stays, we have a great storage space in, in Fairview, not too far from here. So if anybody ever needs any of them, want to show the work again, just, just give us a call. Um, it's not going anywhere. So without further ado, uh, Mayor, please. Thank you. Uh, it's really mixed emotions for me to be here. And I'm sure for everybody that's here, I see a lot of people from the galaxy here, have known Florence probably a lot longer than I have. Uh, I think it's great that Guttenberg Arts uh, made this space available. Absolutely. You had no bigger supporter than her, believe me. I mean, she was thrilled when you located it into town. 
and uh, you know we, we work together to try to do whatever we could to support and that's great hook up with the creative eye. But it's a mixed re emotions because I'm sure every one of us would rather that her and Paul be with us enjoying the, the, mm -hmm. day, the day today. But I think it's great that everybody's here. Uh, it's funny, I've lived in the galaxy about 15 years now, almost 20 years, and some of my best memories are with Paul and the programs that Paul ran through the Creative Eye and through the social committees teaching you about art. You know, and how a particular scene would be depicted through the different types of artists. Uh, it was a big eye opener to me. It was, it, was, it was a great experience. Florence, what can you say about Florence? I mean, she's a married, you know, many faceted person. She's a good wife to Paul, obviously. Good friend to me, lifelong Democrat, but she relocated from, from uh, but she relocated from New York, and, and she got involved with us. I mean, there was no stopping her, and she put her energy to everything she did. Uh, I consider her a, a real good friend, and I hope she thought the same to me. She kept me focused. People that have the opportunity to work with me are not the most focused person in the world. I'm going to really miss her. Uh, if there was anything I needed done, even if it was with a very short notice, she managed to get it done. Uh, she was always in her, in her mind and heart a teacher. Uh, I, can, I was always very careful. Anything I put out to print, if it had a grammatical error in it, she'd let me know. You know? So uh, again, I, I thank you for making this, uh, this opportunity available today. It's going to be missed by all of us, but I think this is a great way to celebrate her life and Paul's life. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Shari and I'm uh, I'm Paul Friedman's granddaughter and Florence Friedman's step granddaughter and um, I must thank you absolutely for um, having this day today and all that you're doing to store and to share the stuff and thank you everybody for coming and um, I I um, I wanted to say that uh, growing up as my grandfather's daughter, as I've shared with some of you guys, um, he used to have a studio in the basement of his house in Brooklyn, and I grew up with many nude photos and demons around me. I was absolutely <laughs> frightened. I was really, really horrified about it all. And then I, I heard, too, that my mother was um, particularly scared and freaked out by it all growing up, too. And though we learned to appreciate many things, and um, it was always wonderful, as my grandfather would teach us how to appreciate art and appreciate many different things. My father just told me a story that before my grandfather um, bought his first boat, uh, my father was dating my mother and had stayed over at their house in Brooklyn and also stayed, slept in the basement um, and had the worst night of sleep ever. <laughs> but, um, I, I, when, my, uh, when my grandpa Paul and Deep, um, met and married Florence, I thought she was just the greatest lady ever and was petrified also about good grammar as I would write little notes to <laughs> grandpa and Florence all the time. And, um, it was a while into their relationship, and I guess me getting older, that I realized, my God, she's a great artist too. And to uh, see from the little things, and then spend more and more time to realize the bigger and bigger things, like what a, what a wonderful artistic eye she had, and always a great joy um, to share those things with her, whether it be her needlepoints or her, um, or her quilting, or her photography, or just her interest in art. Um, and how she shared that with me and everybody else. But um, I did want to say that um, last year, as we were going through so many things before her surgery, um, she said, what do we do with all of this stuff, Sherry? What do we do with all of Grandpa's books? What do, what do we do? And I said, you know, she's like, should I sell them? Should I donate them? Like, donate them. Somebody's going to want this stuff. And, um, and of course, what was the first place that she thought of was in Didu, and it's really quite great to know that these books that could have just been unused or tossed in the right. trash somewhere is getting, are actually getting used. As a woman who's a great teacher and a love of art, Florence, to then know that, ah, art and teaching still happens with what we had, that, or what she had, that thank you. Well, thank you, thank you all for everything, and um, just great love to all. Hi, uh, I'm Ben. I'm uh, Florence's nephew. My, my mom, uh, Lois, is Florence's younger sister. And I uh, just wanted to very quickly uh, say something, and that is that my, uh, my aunt is a lifelong New Yorker until she moved to Jersey. One of the most proud New Yorkers you could possibly imagine. Very, very proud Brooklynite. And when her and my uncle originally came to Jersey, my aunt had her reservations about it, right? She wasn't totally sold on, on leaving the city. 
And um, after my uncle uh, passed away and my aunt had gotten sick, my parents, uh, you know, gave her the idea, you know, would you possibly want to move uh, closer to us in the Bronx, live in our building, you know, maybe make things easier for you. And my aunt's response was that, no, how could I ever leave uh, the amazing friends and, and all the people I met in the galaxy behind? She, it was just something that she was not even uh, willing to even consider. Um, so I guess on behalf of myself, my mom, the rest of my family, thank you so much for being uh, a great friend and a great community, a great group of people that you know welcomed my aunt. And uh, she obviously loved and cared about you guys a lot. So again, just thank you for that. Hi, I'm Ruth Olson. I'm um, a member of the Creative Eye, which is a photography group that uh, Florence joined long before I came into the galaxy. Um, and she was a driving force. When you talk about focus, you get a group of photographers together talking about themes, and it could go on forever. And there was Florence saying, you know, let's concentrate, <laughs> let's concentrate. <laughs> we have to figure out what we're doing next. And that, that um, collage there is some of the work that she did. She did so much more, but we just didn't have space to put it up. Um, she was just an amazing person. She really was. And uh, she was a fellow teacher. She and I taught for well over 30 years each in New York City schools. And we shared a lot of uh, stories about what, you know, what went on in the schools and, and what the kids were like. And she will be very missed. She was just a big part of the Galaxy, her quilting was amazing. And I was talking to Matt, who said that they were going to store things. The Creative Eye has a gala every year. And if there are any paintings left, we can't exhibit the nudes. Because, <laughs> because I, we but did there it are. In town. What? We did it in town. You did? <laughs> oh, so maybe yeah. we. <laughs> we did one crouching, I think. I mean, I would yes, love we to. did that first painting. This one? No, no, that one. Oh, this one, yes. Oh, this one, yes. And, uh, and also her pottery. We didn't even know that she was a potter. Uh, and her quilting and needlepoint. So it's very possible, and we'll let the family know that in March, when we have the gala, um, we might exhibit some of their work, some of Paul's paintings and, and Florence's things. So and maybe get some more photographs together. And uh, because they were a big part of the artistic community and they will be missed. Thank you. Right. Yeah, I just want to uh, thank everybody again. Uh, doors are open all day, so just relax. We have plenty of uh, cake and pastries and cookies and everything. So um, if anybody else want to say anything, just yeah, go, go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. I need to say something because she meant so much to me. I met this lady. I don't live in the galaxy. I live in the summit house. I can't afford the galaxy. But Florence always invited me to every club. Come to the book club. Come to the quilting club. The creative eye. Kathy always invites me to the singing group. And little by little, I got to know similarities. I also was a teacher for 30 years. I come from Brooklyn. Uh, we share the same uh, faith. Not that we observed that much. And uh, she gave constantly. And uh, it just seemed impossible one person could give so much. And yet she did. And uh, whenever I felt low, if she was around, I'd run over to her because I felt better. Mm -hmm. And uh, she thought of others always before herself. An amazing woman. to follow up on Ruth's story on the photo or on the, on the painting. This painting was, was in the county. The county runs an art show every year. And this painting won first place. So at the town, we wanted to kind of showcase the art, the, the talent that we had in Guttenberg. So we did a plaque for Paul, which I think is the plaque that's over there. And we wanted to display this at town hall. Our town attorney got very nervous. <laughs> oh, I don't know if we could show this. Listen, it was good enough to hang in the Brennan Courthouse, the county building. It's good enough to hang in town hall. Uh, we have the same concerns. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does anybody else uh, have anything? 
Okay. No, then enjoy the rest of the day, you know, enjoy your work. Uh, yeah, and we're, we're here all day, so thank you again for coming today. Thank you.